Good morning, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just working on my first cup of coffee and I really wanted to share with you because I don't think I've been this excited about food or about a product ever. So um, I woke up this morning and I was just itching to make something again in my cooking blender, which if you know me well is saying a lot because I don't really love to cook. I love to entertain. I love to bring people together. I like to cook when there's lots of people that I'm cooking for and I can put on like an awesome meal. Um, but I don't really like the day-to-day -day in a rush, especially cooking for myself. I find that really boring. Um, so when I wake up in the morning and I'm actually like excited to try something new or make something in my blender, um, that to me is saying a lot. So this morning I'm going to be making hollandaise sauce. Um, yesterday I actually made three different things. I was that, that excited. So I did the peach wine jalapeno jelly, which I just kind of came up with on my own. Um, and then I did a peach crumble and then last but not least I did a chimichurri sauce. So yeah, so I'm going to be making hollandaise sauce and I would love you to join me in my kitchen. So I'm just going to set you down and hopefully not knock you over. Um, so I do love that it comes with the cooking guide because normally I'm not a super creative person. So just tell me step by step exactly what I need to do. So in this case we're doing the hollandaise just right there on the bottom. And it is so easy and I just love that I can do this and my blender will take care of it while I go over and I cook my eggs. So we're doing a half a cup of butter. Oh yeah, listen, my puppy, my puppy hears me cooking. She's like, pop something. She's my cleanup crew. So three egg yolks. I better get a spatula. So three egg yolks. that there because we're going to need it for the butter again and then I actually reduced the lemon a little bit and added a little bit more water so the recipe calls for two tablespoons of lemon one tablespoon of water um, so I just dropped it down to half and half and now we're going to switch this puppy on we're going to lock our lid in place and then what does it say so now we're just going to move it over to sauce and press go so I now it's just gonna go on its own I don't have to stand here I don't have to do anything and it's gonna cook it and it's gonna heat it and it's gonna do everything for me so I can come over here to my stove and do my eggs and heat up my meat there's little bubbles on the bottom of the pan so to do perfect poached eggs that's when you know it's the right time to toss them in. So this is our stainless steel 10-inch um, skillet. I use it all the time. It's like the best of both worlds. You get the stainless waffle finish with, um, with the non-stick finish. So you get the sear of a stainless with the cleanup of a non-stick. And then in the back, I'm just warming up some chicken and stuff um in just the eight inch non-stick so we're almost ready um our hollandaise sauce is up to 163 degrees so we're just about ready to add this second portion of butter in um the eggs are just about done so i've got my ham out and i'm actually going to put a little bit of boars in all right so it has stopped and we're just going to add our second part of butter in so another uh, another cup of butter lock our lid back on and now we're just gonna pulse for a couple seconds so press cancel and pulse leave it about 15 seconds and now so I've got my eggs everything ready here with my chicken and my boars in and my eggs and then I'm just gonna top with my hollandaise oh this looks amazing and to make myself feel healthy I'm gonna put a little bit of greenery on top thanks for joining me I hope you have a very beautiful day